my friends welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris today we will see another type of entities blocks um, if you played my games maybe you noticed that I love block puzzles um, anyway today we will see how to create them so you can click this button add block and the block is basically something that the hero can normally push or pull and let's see what you can configure here first you probably want to choose a sprite so we provide some block sprites of various colors by default let's say this one and we will see what happens I can push my block like this in in any direction by default so to push a block you need to get close to it and to keep walking into the direction of the block and after a small delay the hero will start pushing uh, an alternative is to grab the block by pressing the the action key so space by default you see this grab icon on the top left of the screen if you do that you can pull or push the block uh, faster because you just grab and immediately push so there is not this small delay that you have if you just walk towards the block without grabbing it here I had the delay and here I just grab and push quicker so this is a small gameplay detail um, yeah so and if you want to pull the block uh, this one is configured not to uh, allow to be pulled but you can check this option can be pulled and to pull a block this time you you have to grab it to grab it first and then uh, just walk towards the opposite direction by keeping the action key pressed so this one can be pushed or pulled or pulled sorry and you can also configure the you can so, so limit the number of moves of your blocks a lot of times in a link to the past blocks can only be pushed one time so this one can still be pushed or pulled but only once and since 1.6 you can really configure this number freely before you only had the choice between uh, 0, 1 or unlimited here you can put any number or just uncheck it to say unlimited and if you put 0 then it cannot be moved at all this might be useful in some puzzles let's say if if you saved the fact that the puzzle is already finished and and you save your your blocks at, at the final position you don't want them to to be moved again maybe um, we'll make some examples of um, block puzzles in future tutorials another thing that you can restrict if you want is the direction of the block by default it can be moved in any direction but you can uh, for example restrict it to only right so this time it will only be uh, it can only be moved to the right it doesn't matter if, he, if it's pushed or pulled but the the movement will be only to the right so I can push to the right I can pull in this direction but the other direction will not will not work um, you can use any sprite really for your block so the entity itself the block entity is 16 by 16 here but similarly to enemies the hero or most entities it's allowed to have a, a bigger sprite and for example I will just for this example use this ice block here which is actually in in the enemies folder because uh, it's supposed to be for an enemy initially but 
it it actually fits fits quite well with uh, these blocks examples. So the size of the of my block is still sixteen by sixteen, but the, the sprite is bigger. Um, yeah, I I want to remove the direction restriction. So yeah, it really means that. My block is, when I say it's 16 by 16, it's the entity's bounding box uh, when uh, it comes to obstacles. So my block will be able to be moved inside a, a corridor of size six, 16 pixels, even if the sprite is bigger. The sprite is really just the, the graphical part, but For everything related to movement and obstacles, it's still 16 by 16. Um, note that the block cannot be uh, cannot traverse this invisible wall here because the invisible wall is configured to be an obstacle for blocks. So I can still try, but it will not work. And if I want to allow it, I can uncheck this. And now it can be moved towards this door. So usually I <clears throat> don't allow my blocks and my enemies to uh, traverse this kind of doors and go to the other room, especially when there are separators. Um, so yeah, here I checked obstacles for blocks enemies, NPCs. Only the hero can traverse, basically. Um, it's possible to, if you don't want to use the push and pull and grab features, it's useful to know that you can disable them uh, using game set ability. Uh, you can decide that your hero is never allowed to push or to grab or to pull. These are three different abilities. By default, uh, they are allowed. You can even make a treasure chest that gives a special item that allows your hero to, to push things. If you want. Uh, yeah, so that was just, just so you know. Um, switches can be configured to interact with blocks. We will make another tutorial about that, but let's see, we have a switch here. We, we can make some mechanism, d opening a door, I don't know, uh, creating a, a treasure chest when you press the switch. It's possible to uh, require that the switch can uh, require a block to to activate the switch, but we we will see an example of that later. But again, I, I wanted to mention it. Um, and what is mm, uh, yeah about the Lua API? You have your blocks here. Mm. They must be somewhere. <laughs> they are an entity, I'm pretty sure. Block, okay. Um, you have some mm, functions here to set whether the block can be pushed or pulled and change the maximum number of moves. So that can be useful to know. And there exist some events, unmoving and unmoved, that are called uh, to notify your scripts that the hero is moving the block. So you can make all sorts of cool puzzles with blocks and I think we'll make a, an, an example of an example of a block with a switch, an example of um, of a nice block 
that really acts like a nice block that is it will slide um, and instead of being moved only by one square we we can make a small script that will continue the movement uh, that would be cool because it's an ice block but um, yeah the, the, these will be for other tutorials that's it for today thank you all for watching again please join our discord and we'll we'll be happy to discuss with you about solaris and, cre and about creating games thank you all for watching and see you next time that's all for now bye